So, if you watched part one um, <clears throat> in this uh, video series, I guess you could say it's only two parts, though, uh, you would n notice that the primary tactic that I'm using to catch most of these fish is I'm basically sitting along the bank and looking for fish that are cruising within, at, like, five to ten feet from the bank, a lot of times even closer than that, and... Um, what I'm doing is I'm just casting to those fish that are cruising within 5 to 10 feet of the bank, and I'm throwing a grasshopper at them. Uh, the fish that you see me catching right now, this one I actually saw rising, and I decided, you know, why not? And I uh, kind of cast out towards the middle and ended up getting him to hit on the hopper. But typically what I'll be doing is I'll be doing a lot of sight fishing where I'll see the fish on the bank, I'll throw the hopper at him, and he'll come up and eat it. And uh, that's really, really a go-to tactic that I have for fishing ponds in the summer, and I highly recommend that you guys use that tactic as well. This is a healthy little fish. Just gonna let this little guy go. And he's off. Oh my gosh, that little guy fought so hard. I didn't realize I had him. Yeah, I thought my fly just sunk. Dude, this is my sixth fish. It's just because you're using the right stuff. Now I can go out in the water. Alright. Oh my gosh, dude. This is so good. Alright. Where is he at? Uh, here, just give him a little bit more time. He's got, he's still got some fight in him. Alright. So I'm going to crank down my drag. I'm just going to try to horse this guy in a little bit. There's another one. No, I know, dude. They'll like follow each other. Right. Oh my god, dude. <laughs> He's like, heck no. Oh, heck no. Oh, hell no. <laughs> Come here. Oh my god. Sir, you're gonna have to ask you to Stop resisting! Oh! Stop resisting! <laughs> Remember last time we went here, the pond was so low that the water was like at this level way out yeah. there. This is better level. So much better. Healthier. Fucking <laughs> Okay, he's coming. He's coming. He's coming. Right. Is he though? Is he though? No. Gonna try to me. There we go. Oh, dude. <laughs> That's a fat fish. <laughs> All right, now it's time for the release of this guy. Another beautiful rainbow trout. You want to release him? All right, let's go. Dude, I just had one break me off. Seriously? He just hit it so hard. He like nailed it. 
I probably should have been watching that though. I mean, I've caught so many fish on that knot, like. So another little tip for you guys, always make sure that you are testing your knot strength because trust me, after you catch a certain amount of fish, if you don't check and make sure that your knot is still strong, it's gonna come back to bite you. Holy goodness though, dude, he hammered that. Dude, the little ones fight so much harder. Nice little fish. He's just peel and drag. Yeah. I saw him swimming along and then he just looked up at it and he's like, okay. Oh, you got one? Nice, doubled up. Holy moly. guys whoa do you need a net <laughs> he just like leaped out of midair all right. Oh my. Oh dang, that's so cool. We got a double. Oh man, this guy is doing everything in his power to get away. Oh. There we go. That is 
a beautiful fish, huh? Oh man! He's just peeling drag. Yeah. I saw him swimming along and then he just looked up at it and he's like, okay. Oh, you got one? Nice, doubled up. Holy moly. Whoa! He just like leaped out of midair. Oh my god. That was sweet, guys. Do you need a net? Oh, right. Oh, dang, that's so cool. We got a double. Oh man, this guy is doing everything in his power to get away. Oh. There we go. Oh man. Well guys, it's been an awesome day. Jack Jack here has caught two of his first ever fish on the fly, which is super super cool. Super glad to see that he's getting into it. How do you feel about that, Jack? Oh, uh, that's pretty awesome. I mean, I do remember the first time my brother tried fly fishing pretty much crumpled the rod up and threw it in the weeds, so. The more you know. So today was super awesome. Got to come back to my roots. This was the place that I caught my first ever fly caught fish. This was the place that I caught my first ever fish fish. And I mean, it was just super cool to kind of go back to go back to my roots, caught some big fish. Like there are some really big holdover fish in here that they've stocked, but I mean the fish here just get so fat because there's just food everywhere. I hope you guys really enjoyed this video. Please like and subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next video.